Well, good morning, everyone. Camera quality is going to be a little bit lower because the camera is already in the boat, locked up. But making a pit stop right now at uh, the Planet Fitness, not the most manliest of gyms, but membership's cheap. And I like to go get me a run in whenever I can early in the morning. So 4.30 in the morning, practice I can start at 5.40. So we got an hour for me to go work out, run, get something to eat, and get to the lake. So that's what we're doing right now. Was that awful? No, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. 15 minutes of running, that ain't bad. I'm actually elliptical. -y. Not bad. What's up everybody? We're on the moon today. As you can see, we're fishing on the moon. Kyle, what do you have to say about fishing on the moon? I think we're the first people to do it. Not sure if they're bass here or not. We're trying to find any sign of intelligent life. So where we are right now, where we actually put in in Rodman today, really wanted to try to find something a little bit off the wall. It's not really off the wall, everybody knows Rodman, but I wanted to find a place where I could fish the way that I wanted to fish, which is predominantly punching. Lots of mats in Rodman, more than anywhere else. So decided to ride down here today. So far, haven't seen anything good at all. We are, we got a plan for today of practice. We're gonna fish at Rodman for a while. And uh, if we could get, on, get some bites doing something, you know, we might stay all day, but for the most part, we're probably going to fish Rodman, leave out from here, head down to the Aster area, because that's like 43 miles to get to the mouth of Aster from takeoff. So if we can eliminate Rodman today and eliminate Aster today, which I don't want to eliminate them, I want to find something that I think is good, but if I do eliminate those two, I'll have a 23 mile stretch of river where I'm gonna to try to stop and fish everything that I can find that looks good in the tournament and we'll have eight hours to do it. You know, and 23 miles is not that bad of a run. So that's the plan right now is to hopefully find something, but if we don't, we'll eliminate two of the most extreme runs that I would have had to make. So we'll see how it goes. Mudfish. This rod's got some freaking power, dude. Mudfish. Mudfish, not to pass. Not to pass. Probably same one from earlier. Let's grab me. Handy dandy. Bro pliers.
All right, that was the third and final day of practice. I went to Rodman that morning, left straight from Rodman, and went down to Astor and went bed fishing, which is south of Lake George, and marked about 25 or 30 fish on bed. So that was my final day of practice. And then we had one day off to get everything rigged up and get everything ready to fish the first Bassmaster Elite Series event. So still got a rigging day, and then that'll be it. But practice is officially over for the first Bassmaster Elite Series event. We are rolling up now to get our picture taken. We're gonna take a picture of the boat, the truck, and me in a jersey. So every time you see me on Bass Live or anywhere like that, the picture that pops up will be the picture that's taken today, right now here in about five minutes. So shout out to Third Degree, got the jersey done. They're the only company I know that does jerseys in America exclusively, and that's a, a big deal for me. I think that's awesome. The time waits a lot shorter, so it's a, a lot better to do that. But on the way now, get our picture taken. Gonna be good. Tournament starts tomorrow. We gotta take pictures of the boat and us, so we got to make it look at least a little bit presentable. On my braided line in the camo one, on my fluorocarbon in the red one. That looks like braided line bag, don't it? Pretty cool. Right now we are just putting new line on a lot of reels. So, so far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six with new line. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six or probably eight more. Probably eight more to put new line on. This is thick. Is it? it is 25 pound shooter. It's a good bit thicker than what I normally am flipping with. As far as diameter but we are flipping in some nasty stuff for some real big ones so I think we need some 25 pound shooters what I think we need hope you enjoy that hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the tournament video which is coming up in just a couple of days so we'll see you on the next one appreciate it <laughs>